everyone. It's like the just becoming daylight. And it's kind of foggy and pretty outside. So I thought I'd take a walk and see how pretty it is outside. So, good morning. Hope everybody's having a good day. in there. I think it's trying to clean the filter out. But it is a big and it is a big floody mess. that time when the guy had to climb to the top of the grill. What? What are you doing to brother? I can see Clyde's little no wiggling down there. What is she doing to you, buddy? Reese, get off of him. You turd. Yeah. What is she doing to you, buddy? Why is this light on? Here we go. Oh, that's why. It's just too bright. <laughs> You're a turkey. Yeah. Cutie patooties. You cutie patooties. Yeah. It's going down. I think that's the right one. Oh shit. <laughs> that would not have been cool if I had power. Nice. Look at that tight fit. 
Stormy cat. She does not mind the dogs. So far, they're they've only smelled a little bit. So, pups are giving her space, not being too intrusive with, with her anyway. Sasha seems very concerned all the time. Stormy cat, you wanna go outside? Now, meow. meow. We are trying to get Stormy Cat used to being inside with the dogs, and it seems that she does not mind really. She just meow, get my back, meow. It's hilarious. So I'm gonna attempt to see if she wants to go outside with me and wander around. I've got to get the shelter started to go up so we can put some of our wagons and things in it under a shelter for this winter. And um, Eric's got to cut a couple of trees down before the wind does it first. So we're going to go outside. Peach cat. Congested. Let's see if we can't get her something. If it's one thing they say, just to let her try to get through it. Mm hmm I've never seen her like bring up a hairball or anything either. No. She just got congestion. You can hear it when she coughs. Hers got congestion. Oh, you can see her red hairs in the light. Come on, baby. Hear it up. Hey, boobies. All right, I'm gonna go outside. Awesome. Bye, bye, guys. All right. Well, this is what it looks like after the well gets pumped. It's a little bit of water here and there. So this is part one is done, is digging the hole. And then they'll come back with more equipment and they're gonna put a tank in the ground and then hook it up for us there, put a frost tap in and then they'll bring power from this pole like it is for the current well. Nice. He shifted five, six times already. He's getting all of it. He's not just getting some. He's out of here. We have a new well hole. Yay! Woo! And it didn't come up near the house or anything, but just in case. It went everywhere. Yep. They said it'd be a big muddy soupy hole and that yeah, it is. Yeah, sit for a couple days anyways, it'd be a lot easier to work. Well, I like that it kind of built the sand up around here and we'll just rake some out and try to, because of the rain that comes through here, we'll just build this up and it'll go around. Oh yeah, we'll fill sandbags. The cats will have a new litter box. <laughs> There's That's a, a good pile of sand right there. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's little beans. Walked across little it. Little beans all over the inside of my suburban. Little beans? All the <gasps> Stormy Cover. walked inside the cabur Sandy suburban. <laughs> I saw her sitting on your bumper the other day. Oh, that's funny. Little kitty cat prints. Mm-hmm. That is some super fine, a super fine sand. Well, a little earth goo. Where that machine was pumping it out. Wow, that is, it's smooth like clay. 
crazy. Mm -hmm. Yay! Not bad. Not too bad at all. Trailers out front for sale. Okay. Time to go in and make dinner. Maybe we'll just have some leftover chili. And we'll get these boring beetle off the wall. It's boring beetle. No. Somebody stole the rest of my beer. Good morning, everybody. I don't know if this is catching how pretty that is, but that is pretty pinks and blues over there. It's a beautiful morning in the woods. We got a Kelly cat on the left. We got a stormy cat. Oh, that's way close up. Hello, close up. Hello, stormy cat. Wanna go outside? Come on. See ya. Just came in for some breakfast. Hang out for an hour or two. deer going to the right oh now he's coming back he's got big antlers he's coming back this way mm -hmm. uh oh find a place to hunker down buddy Stop moving around. Got the driveway patched up in a couple of spots. That was nice. We had like five yards of a clay mix delivered. And uh, these last few sunny days here are going to give us the opportunity to clean up a little bit. The red truck between the two containers has a, uh, a little 20 foot shelter in it we're going to put up and uh, try to get everything out of the way. We got the new well put in. They still have to come and put uh, the, t the pump in, the tank and the electricity and everything to it still. So it's halfway there. The first half is done. So yeah, I think what's going to happen is um, the next couple days it'll be put the shelter up and Eric's going to drop this crooked ass tree. Let's see, the shelter is here. This crooked tree right here needs to come down. And there's a couple within the circle driveway here that need to come down as well. Do we have kitty cats? We do, we've got little CC. We got Kaylee cat. I put a little bed up there. We're missing vitamin C. Where's the little orange kitty cat at? Hello, girls. There we go. Hello. There they are. Hello, Kelly cat. Yeah. Hello. You don't gotta come down for me. It's cold. Hello, kitty cat. Oh, Hello. Hello. All right, let's grab these logs. Look at this log splitter. Really, I need to get that rug off of there and out of the way. So, yeah, stuff and things. Freaking stuff all in the way. Woo! 
a little slippery on that. That and that hill coming oh, down. The ice, a little slippery on the ice. A little, a little slippery with my rubber boots on the wet grass. So this lab where a single wide once was and another cabin will be again. Uh, the earth is kind of trying to envelop it and take it over again, so I'm just gonna scrape it back so that it has better drainage when it rains. Please be just a trash bag. Before shot here, we're gonna stack wood starting on skids here and go across with the next year's wood. But that tree's gotta come down right in there. That one's gotta come down, and a couple of these over here gotta come down. They're all dead and dying. <sighs> We've gotta get to work. So hope you guys are having a great day. Here's Kelly Cat. Hello. Have a good day, guys. Hello, Kelly Cat. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Real. Hey, little please paw, owie arm. Yes, you ripped a nail right out. Poor thing. We got a knife. Here we go. We got our box open. Let's see what's up. Hello, stomach cats. An hour and 30 minutes. Two people. I'll get it prepped. Then it's out.
Did we miss oyster oh, mushrooms? Really? They threw on the winter, so the oysters. Looks like we did. <gasps> yeah. We didn't think they were gonna form and they did. Oh, well, it got wet. And so <sighs> we plugged these when we first moved in. Oh my god, it freaking fruited. Oh my gosh, that's Might awesome. as well save some of that yet. Yeah. I would still probably eat some of it. Yeah, it's if there's cold. no... Well, they grow in the winter. That's one of the winter mushrooms you can... As long as they get enough water. They were little tiny ones. We, we thought they were done. And they freaking came out. This is awesome. I poured all that water on them. Yep. Huh. We weren't sure if they were going to work, but that's awesome. It's like it worked. Now we need to water it with a sprinkler and cover it with a tarp for a couple days. I bet you we'd have all kinds of them. Awesome. Oyster mushrooms in our log. We did that. Awesome. Yeah, we weren't sure if the plugs were gonna work, but obviously they did, yeah. Cool. trees gotta go because they're already half dead or decaying and falling down and our power line is right here so a lot of these are we have to take care of the power company's already been here and said they won't touch anything that's not touching it or within two feet even though they made us do a right away for 15 feet and said that they can cut trees up to 30 feet away from the pole if they deem them dangerous. Yeah. So he took out the crooked ones. There was one that was really hanging over this power line. He took that out. And that was the second one over there. This one here we were just looking at. The decay start here. And how it already looks half rotten here. And look at this. Can you see this pie shape? I don't know what this like rubbery I can't I don't know if it's mycelium or if it's like a band-aid in the tree where it's splitting because it looks like it's actually going out and gonna split so crazy what are these little white dots little maggots yep look at these these are probably little termite eggs these little white dots they might be little dots all this rotten Huh. Those little dots, yep. That's odd. Mm -hmm. Oh, they squish open. They, yeah. they pop. Borer bugs. Huh. Yeah. Since, yeah, the wood's just... I don't think it's down right. It's really soft. Oh, yeah, you can, I can oh, see how... Oh, man, I don't know if we're going to burn this one. Right. This one might just be toast. I'm in my after dinner relaxer pajamas. Which looks very similar to my day clothes. Eric's already back outside. Chopping up these two trees that he just cut down. 
I'm carrying him away already. He's on the trucking mother. Nice job. Huh? Looks good. This long branch that broke off, I'm just gonna cut it up. It's dry and crispy. I'll throw it right on the rack. Cool. Ready to go. Awesome. The Over base, it wasn't gooey. the base that it needed the most was rotten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> that's just all punky and soft, that three, four foot chunk section there. Mm-hmm. I thought I was going to pull it over with a Suburban when I just put the rope on it. It didn't pass right. Yeah, that whole middle part is really soft. Line. Nice. Another big storm away from breaking off the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cutting the ones that are going to land on our power first. That's for sure. There's a lot of dead and dying. And a bore away clean through the other one, the top of it. I cut it here near the hole, and there's a hole at that whole other end. Wow. It crawled all, right, all the way through it. Bore, same P shaped bore all the way through. A bore, he's saying he cut up about 15 feet of that stump, that log up, and the whole way up about 15 feet there was one borer hole all the way up so I mean we've got several kinds of borer beetles here besides the caterpillars that eat all the foliage and destroy the bark and everything so super awesome we're gonna plan is to cut down the dead and dying and replace it with beautiful beautiful rows of trees maples white pines a lot of native trees oaks we'll get things that are coming up already or we'll leave room for there's a lot of witch hazel sassafras we're gonna put in we've already got some apples cherries and pears so we only need a couple of each it's just the two of us so garden city baby Alright, you guys have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Peace. And it's the next morning. And there goes the trailer. Sold it already. And clay they pulled up from the wells a little slippery underneath but uh, I've got a bunch of sand here I'm gonna try to level out a little bit This is a hopping place. Hey! Stormy and Callie, cut it out. I know, we're fighting over the catnip bar. Callie, you should know by now you're stuck in there. Come here. Come here. Troublemakers. 
Yep, new storm. We already rolling on the catnip with her a pluck. Go. Here. Have some catnip and be happy. Stormy's over there rolling on the catnip. Here you go. I'll grind some up for you. Here you go. Some for Kelly Cat. Yes, this is Kelly's patch. Stormy Cat. Yeah. Everybody wants that catnip. That's how much they like it. Hello, Kelly Cat. Is this your catnip patch, huh? Is this yours? Yeah. Yes. The sacred patch. Drop my catnip. Put it down. Uh, possessive ass bitches. Are you coming for some love? Bring this catnip with me. What you gonna do about it? I'll put it here in the driveway. See who gets it. Alright, well I think it's time to go in and have some cauliflower and Beyond Burger tacos on the corn shell with some lettuce. So, hope you guys had a great day. Fall is here, the leaves are gone. It's time to pack it back in for the year. See you guys later. Have a great weekend. Thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. It's just a day in a life with us, so. Peace. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Not gonna work. <laughs> Not with the camera in your hand. <laughs> Bet me. Well. Thanks for joining us. Hope you guys have a good night. Moon looks really